Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, I'm for your pleasure playing the Canadian slash British Edits M113. Rank 7, battle rating 10.3. It is an anti tank missile carrier. Now, you would think it's not really worth mentioning this thing in its uh, detail because we already have an Edits in the American tech tree. Same rank, same battle rating, same weapon systems, and say. Uh, same capabilities question mark the answer is no bad because British now that is a little bit of an uh, exaggeration although many people will say that uh, British suffering is a thing in War Thunder and um, <laughs> let's just start with this scene because it's so hilarious I do not even get up the tracks here, um, the steps, and so I have to defend myself with my missiles against this pesky Leopard 2A6, and this one, yeah, just uh, ignore me, thank you. I have one missile left, he tries to reverse on this uh, one track and I actually can set them on fire, but I'm trapped in this location, I'm out of weaponry, I don't have a 25mm cannon to finish this guy off, which is now distracted by the rest of my team. And already we come to the first of the three major differences to the American edits. Now, the longer video title would have been a Canadian edit that is in the British tech tree, which is somewhat worse than the American one. Still could do the job as an anti-aircraft vehicle, but we have to talk about the differences because they make or break the deal. Doesn't really go off the tongue as bad because British, does it? So let's just talk about this in detail. First of all, there is the mobility. Let's start with this. We have, with the American edits, a 507 horsepower strong engine for a 25.0 ton tank. That is, uh, if you calculate, 20.28 horsepower per ton ratio. So comfortably above 20, with a top speed of 66 kilometers per hour forward and in reverse 12 0.7 kilometers per hour so that is quite quick for you know what is supposedly a second line unit the british one that we can see in this video is with 16.6 .6 tons significantly lighter but has only a 279 horsepower strong engine that gives it a horsepower to ton ratio of 16.8, so less than 17, whereas the American is above 20. That is a significant difference that you really feel when you go through mud, when you go up hills, etc. But it's not the end of the world. The top speed is relatively similar with 64 km per hour and in reverse with 14.8, it is just a little bit faster. However, the maneuverability around, you know, um, turning on the spot, etc., is a bit less um, expressed. Then we come to the armor. Like with the American, you do not really have real armor. It's aluminum alloy 50.583 uh, to begin with. And uh, at the front, 38 millimeters on the side, uh, behind the tracks 32 and 44 on the upper hull. We have some spacing going on and some add-on armor, but nothing really to talk about. And the turret itself is 12.7. So this is um, defeatable and killable with heavy machine gun fire, not to talk about even other SPAs or main battle tank fire. The survivability is also not given and here we can see the first signs of what's really bad and that is uh, the second uh, downside and that is the lack of gun depression. Now when I say lack of gun depression I mean it literally. You don't have any. Zero degrees. And that would have uh, made here the difference between the helicopter and also this Leopard 2A6. I came across quite a few situations where that would have been useful. So we have less mobility, we have uh, no gun depression, the American has 9 degrees of gun depression, you have 0 degrees of gun depression. I think that the only vehicle in the game that also has 0 degrees of gun depression are some uh, rocket tanks um, at lower battle rating and I think one of them, the Katyusha, 
uh, actually got hydropneumatic suspension to kind of compensate for it, you know, as an artificial feature because Russian. However, therefore, you have better gun elevation technically with, or shall I say, uh, rocket or missile elevation of 85 degrees, whereas the American quote unquote has only 59 degrees of uh, missile tube elevation. So that is a bit of a bit of a problem and also here we can see another example of the lack of the 25 millimeter cannon now the radar itself is good um, the tracking in close quarters is a bit of a problem uh, i tried desperately to get a lock on so that i have automatic traction now let's talk about the missiles themselves because they are as far as i can tell the same as on the edits so we have a 152 millimeter or 6 inch MIM 146 ATGM and that has with 1200 meters per second a serious velocity up to 10 kilometers and it has a TNT equivalent warhead of nearly 8 kilograms producing 900 millimeters of penetration so you also can deal with uh, quite a lot of main battle tanks from the front and you can fire them very quickly indeed the problem is you only have eight again the lack of 25 millimeter makes it relatively problematic to kind of make something uh, out of your reload in cap it takes a long time and you have then literally no defense aside from the smoke which again you have but as you saw in the first clip it's hull mounted not turret mounted whereas then the american has ess engine exhaust system um i hope I pronounce this right yeah ess engine smoke generation system that's the that's the name what you also have in common is a laser rangefinder and a night vision device and an artillery strike um as well so with the british edits you are technically not that far off but um, one feature that I would give this tank to kind of make a little bit of the difference to the American one is the ability to scout because this one doesn't have it. Whereas a Swedish vehicle, the SRAT R that I previously showed you in a video, does this have ability and kind of is very similar in many aspects. You know, uh, mobility, um, you know, survivability, and also anti-aircraft capabilities so the American doesn't have it the British doesn't have it as well and yeah the Russian one as well not but then the Swedish one has it yeah, yeah thank you for the lack that was just um, he just was not sure if he should explode or not it has nothing to do with the service so Overall, I like this thing, okay? And it's not useless, it's far from it. And it's again, relaxing. A second uh, line combat unit that also has some anti-tank capabilities, but the restrictions of the lack of the 25 millimeter gun compared to the American one, that you have absolutely no gun depression, which, you know, in this, in this thing, um, or in this situation uh, is, is quite, feelable you know and very often denies your kills or you have to expose the entirety of your hull on the radar i see the helicopter i can actually see him and i just can't kill him because i don't have the gun depression that is frustrating again for some not a big issue and when a plane is coming towards you you can relatively easy kill it as you can see here um, up to 10 kilometers that defeats you know the likes of ka50 and k52 um, if it's still a thing uh, i haven't seen them sniping at those long distances in quite a while so let me know what uh, you pesky premium boys um, know about this change if there are any i don't know another thing is that the americans are playing together with the british right Oh, perfect example. The missile just wouldn't dip down, right? Even if I would fire it. And I just lost here the track. <laughs> that, is, that bug still gets me. I, I can't get enough of this bug. <laughs> it is hilarious. 
So it is objectively not as good as the American one, but still shares the battle rating. Those are one of the many mysteries of War Thunder's uh, matchmaking, uh, mat kind of everything, right? It just kind of shares the name. The abilities can be quite different. And beautiful. Exploding KF-50s never gets old. When this missile hits, it hits. And uh, here you can see how long the reload actually takes in the cap and uh, how useful those smoke grenades are. They still don't make up for the lack of performance that is. And I think that this kind of summarizes everything that you need to know about the American, Canadian edits M113. Quick look at the post battle results and we can see that for our uh, four kills, we got a okayish result. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, give it a subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the waves, in the skies, and on the battlefields of War Thunder.